Right. So, welcome back, guys. We're going to be getting started today with um, the same workout that we did earlier today when we, I introduced you guys to plyos. But what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be showing you the support system that goes with a plyo workout. So, we're going to be building on some of those muscles that support that plyo system. Okay? All right. So what you're going to need today is you're going to need a chair. Um, it's going to look very similar to some of our chair workouts, um, except that we're going to be doing static. So we're going to be switching the cadence. Cadence meaning that we're going to be switching the speed. So we'll do one speed, and then we'll do another speed with a different range of motion. Okay? So we're just tricking the muscle now. Same exact thing, but just different cadence. Okay? All right. So first thing we're going to start off with because the way we're going to get warmed up and the way we, I left you earlier today, just sit your chair right beside. You're going to need it in seconds. All right? So your mat or you're on your carpet or a soft surface, we're just going to come down. Deep cleansing breath in. It's a warm day. Exhale down. We're going to bellow down, letting gravity play its part. Let those hands just touch the ground nice and heavy. Right, just like that. All right, now we've let gravity play its part. We're gonna walk out, straight into a push-up position. Just like that. And what we're gonna do differently this time is we're gonna come into the push-up position. I want you guys to bend your elbows only five degrees and hold it for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Now bend your elbows 10 degrees and hold it 10 seconds. 10. Now, if you're doing this and it's a little too much, so I want you to, the modification would be feet are flat, your pelvis is forward, and you're lifting your entire upper body. All right? So you'll start off at five degrees, hold for five seconds. Now we're at 10 degrees, you're going to hold for 10 seconds. Okay? That's the difference. All right? So let's start again. That's with the modification, pick your poison, and let's get started. So we're up, push up position, we're holding for five seconds for the um, bent elbow at five degrees. One, two, three, four, five, bend 10 degrees, which is 15 now, and hold for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and all the way up. Knees down. See, I even started to shake on that. And I can do a lot of push ups. But it's the difference when you hold something static. So just holding it static and then start to move, the body doesn't understand. So now we're tricking the body a lot more, gonna get a result so we never plateau. All right. So we're gonna do that again because I got a lot of engagement with that. All right. So if you're with me, stay with me and let's do it again. So pick your poison if you're modified. Or if you're not modified. So I did it now modified the first time. So let's do it modified this time. All right, so we're gonna go pelvis forward. We're gonna bend five degrees. Hold for five, four, three, two, one. Now we come on down 10 degrees and hold for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and push up. That's just as challenging, all right? From there, since we're on that path, let's go straight into elbows. We're going to come into a plank. There's really no modification for a plank because it's already modified for you. So what we're going to do is we're going to go feet wide, using the edge of the mat so that our abductor and hip flexors come into play. Okay? Feet wide. Stay true. Pelvis is down for 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. And this is where it gets tricky. So if you want to go knees down, this is too much, then you're going to push up, up with knees down. If not, you're going to come from your plank, push, push, and come up. All right? Then you're going to come all the way back to where we're standing again. Feet gonna stay nice and wide because we're gonna go into a power plie in a second. Just like that. Stretch that back out. Now bring your hands behind to where your heels are. If you can, put them down flat. 
stretch that back out. You always want to keep those hamstrings and those, um, that back stretched out at all times. All right, and come up slow. All right, now next one, we're going to come on down back to the mat. All right, so deep cleaning breath in. Actually, you know what? Before we come to the mat, I said we're going to go into a power plie, right? So you're going to come in for a second because we have to point our toes out. And I want you only about 15, zero to 15 degrees. So anywhere from 5, 10 to 15 degrees where I'm looking at, okay? Nothing more than that, all right? So deep cleansing breath in. Keep those hands up, bicep by ears, and we're going to come down deep into horse stance. A lot of power here. 20, 19, 18. 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and power up. Nice. A little different than doing an actual squat, right? You got to keep that power flowing at all times. There's no break. All right. So now we're gonna do that with half of the time, and then we're gonna do the same amount of time with the same amount of squats. So if we hold for 10 seconds, we do 10 seconds, we do 10 squats, all right? So we're gonna hold for eight, then we're gonna go to 10. All right, so cleansing breath in. Come on down and hold. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Nice. You notice that. Our cadence today is going from static to movement. We're not really going from slow to medium to fast to static. We're not doing that just yet. It's a little too advanced for you guys just yet. So we're learning how to do static and to movement. All right? Next movement. It's still very dynamic. So we are throwing some dynamic into it because we're moving so slow. So dynamic is slow. All right? The, more, the slower you move, the more dynamic it is. So it goes static and dynamic, all right? And then we get explosive. All right, deep cleansing breath in. Exhale down, bend at the waist. All right, gravity playing its part. We wanna stay stretching, always. All right, walk it out. Now we're gonna do a three-part push-up. And I'm gonna show you a new way to do a push-up. It's called a only up. So you're only doing the push up, up. I mean down, I'm sorry, only down. You're not gonna go up, you're only gonna go down right now, okay? When you're coming up, back up, you're gonna put your knees down and recover, all right? And if your pelvis is forward, so if you're doing modified, you're gonna shift your weight back and start over again, okay? But for those of us that are gonna have our knees suspended, this is the way it's gonna look. We're gonna only go down, so we're gonna start up here, we're gonna go one, two, three, the knees are gonna come up and we're gonna start over. So we're only going down, you follow me? All right, so the same thing goes for modify. So you'll be here, one, two, three, and shift, come again, pelvis comes forward and start again, all right? Same premise, all right? So we're gonna go for eight, all right? Three part, push up. All right, here we go. Up, we're gonna go one, two, three, knees. Again, one, two, three, that's two. One, two, three, three guys, let's go. One, two, three, that's four. One, two, three, five. One, two, three, six, 
One, two, three, seven, last one. One, two, three. Beautiful. Now you're gonna be you're gonna you're building up to be strong enough to be able to do a full push-up. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna only go up. All right, so what's gonna happen is you're gonna start at the top. So when you come in, come into it when you lift your knee. So if you're here, if you're doing modified, it's a little bit trickier. So follow me. If you're doing modified, you're gonna stay right there. You're gonna step, you're gonna start in that position. And the only thing you're gonna do, we're gonna hold for 10, and then you're gonna go up and back into that position. Up, up, up. You're gonna stay at the top, okay? That's how we build our strength to be able to go into a full push up. All right, so I'm gonna actually do this one with you because even that one is challenging, all right? So we're gonna hold for 10 seconds, and then we're gonna go into the flexion for 10 seconds. Here we go. So bend those elbows about 10 degrees, pelvis is forward, right there, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, let's go, 1, you're going to stay at that range of motion, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Ooh, that's even challenging because it's so isolated. All right. Now we're going to go for the same thing with full range of motion this time. All right. And these are going to be suspended. Hold for 10, flex out for 10. Ready? So we're up. Hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 1. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Excellent work. Whew. Everybody have a drink. All right. Excellent work, guys. Now, let's do some abs. I know everybody wants those abs shredded for the summer. All right. And we're going to get next um, on. So anybody that's seeing this moving forward, make sure that you have your cans with you, if not your lightweight, with you on Thursday. All right. All right. So we're going to come on down. Vertebrae by vertebrae, you're gonna at this point you're gonna keep your head up at all times. The majority of the times I have you guys start off with your head down, but because of the way this flexion is, the right leg is in neutral, keeping the spine in neutral. The right right hand is fully extended, left leg is fully extended, both suspended. They're gonna stay there for ten, nine, eight, seven. Six, five, four, three, two, and now we come. Ten, nine, they say suspended. Eight, head is up. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Watch this. Come on back out and hold for ten. Nine, eight, seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice. Bring that head down, recover. Extend that hand, extend that leg. Head comes up and hold for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. 10. Nine, if this is too much, keep your head down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Nice, easy work. Nice. Recover. Both hands are going to be here. And only 
thing we want is our palms just to come past our knees. That's it. You're not coming all the way up. We just want our palms to float right past our knees so that you're, almost, you're going just to your wrist. You're just going to come right here. So you're going the length of your hand past your knee. That's all we're doing. All right, let's do that 10 more times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice. Guess what? It's not over. So we're going to come up. We're going to hold it. We're going to do this reverse. Now we're going to hold it for 10. Come up. Hold. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Yes. Ooh, you feel that burn. I know you've done something when you feel it. Yeah. All right. Nice. Now. We're going to come up into teacher, teacher, right? So you guys remember when you were in school and you did an answer to something, right? What would you do? You would get really excited and you would be like, teacher, teacher, call on me. Oh, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 16, 14, 15, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, nice. Welcome to abs. Yes. Little taste. All right. Let's take it from the top. I think we got one more set in us. Learning session. All right. Nice deep cleansing breath coming in. Exhale down. Let gravity play its part. Feel that back releasing. Walk it out. Into downward dog, stretch those calves out. Walk your hands back in. Tuck your chin into your chest, round your back, and come up slowly vertebrae by vertebrae. When you get to the top, bring those hands up over your head. Bring your feet out to the edge of the mat, at least wider than your shoulder. Deep cleansing breath in. And come down in the horse stance for 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and up. Let's take that and cut it in half and go for 10. Hands are back up on top of your head and let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Nice. Meet about shoulders width apart. <clears throat> Deep cleansing breath in. Come on down. Let gravity play its part. Make sure those feet are straight and we're not pointing out right now. Now we want them straight so that those hamstrings get stretched out, that lower back. Nothing is tight. Walk those hands out into push up. If you're going modified, pick your modified. If you're not, Stay suspended, bend for five degrees, and hold for five, four, three, two, one, up and down for five, four, three, two, one. Nice, quick recovery. Now we're going for 10 degrees, 10 seconds hold, 10 up and down. All right. 10 degrees hold, 10 seconds, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one, up and down for 10. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice. All right. Ooh. 
Ooh. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Swing it around. Around the back. Bring it down. Right leg comes up. Left leg extends. Right hand extends. Hold for 10. Head is up. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and 10. Nine. Eight, seven, six, keep pushing, let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. Don't forget, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Switch it. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, nice. Come up in, swing it around for our wide plank. Feet nice and wide, edge of the mat. If not wider than the shoulder, drop that pelvis down for 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, nice. Knees down. All right. Whew. All right, let's go into our cool down. Just one second. All right, keep cleansing breath in. Exhale down. And at the waist. And we are going to go into our hurdler stretch. Go and come up. All right. So come on back down to your mat. We're going to do our classic hurdler. Extend out that left leg. Right leg comes back. Remember, shift that weight. Swing back. Right? Ooh, I need this right now. Walk it out. Remember, the chest comes down first. Line it up with the knee. Come on down. And then let the head fall heavy. Five, four, three, two, one. Come on out. And come on out. Walk the hand out. If not, come on down to the elbows as long as you're not compromising the stretch. Right, and hold for five, four, three, two, one. Remember, come back up and shift the weight over, and then switch to the other side. Line it up, chest comes down. Once you reach it, let the head fall heavy for five, four, three, two, one. And up, walk it out, open up the quad. If you like it here, stay here. If not, stretch is not compromised. Come down to the elbow. Take five, four, three, two, one. And come on up, swing the legs back out. And back to center. Thank you guys for coming. I will see you on Thursday morning for our morning Java workout, and then for an awesome afternoon lunch. See you guys soon.